<clears throat> Hi, I'm Ebony, and today we're going to explore the app Pic Collage. Pic Collage is an app that can be used to create photo collages, interactive posters, and more. Okay, let's create with Pic Collage. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and go into my Pic Collage app. Once you open the app, you'll see your three canvas options in the center. You have grids, which allow you to choose photos from your camera roll and quickly snap them into a template. Freestyle allows you to start with a blank canvas, and then cards gives you different options for types of cards you can create within the app. So for this tutorial, we're gonna start with freestyle. So once you open up the freestyle um, options and you get into the blank canvas, you'll see across the bottom all the different options for adding media to your blank canvas. So we're gonna start with layout. So there are several grid templates to choose from based on the number of items you wanna to add to your canvas. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to choose this one. Once I've chosen my layout, I will tap the green check mark down here on the bottom right corner and it will add that template to my canvas. My next option is backgrounds. For backgrounds, you have options of solid backgrounds, but you can kind of navigate through those, the different colors they have available. And then I can also do pattern backgrounds. But for my project, I'm going to choose a solid background. Once again, once you've made your choice, tap the green check mark and it adds it to your canvas. My next option is photos. When you tap photos, it automatically brings up your camera roll options. And so I just snapped on, tapped on the four pictures I wanna add to my grid template and it pops it into my canvas. You can easily move images around, change the size of them within your template. And once you got what you, you got it the way you want it, then your next option is stickers. So for stickers, you have all these uh, different types of stickers you can add to your canvas. So I'm going to choose one. Once again, got it, tap my green check mark. And it's going to add it to my canvas. And you can do move it around and put it wherever you would like. Next, I'm going to add text. You can quickly add your text. And once you've got your text on your, on your canvas, you can move it around however you want. Make it bigger or smaller. But once I tap back on my text again, you will see up here on the little dashboard by the, the little raindrop icon, that's how I can change my colors of my text. And I can even add a block background on my text if I want through this icon, this third one here. And then once I've got what I want, tap the check mark and it adds it to my template, to my canvas. Now, once I've got all that like I want it, I have another option of choosing images from the web. I can doodle. That means I can tap this icon here and then to give me an, um, a drawing tool so I can go in and make a drawing. And the final one is animation. So when I tap on animation, I have a series of choices of how I want my images on my canvas and my other elements I've added to animate. So I'm going to choose pulse. I want to choose pulse, you see it causes them to pulse in and out on the screen. Just give me a little, add a little creativity to it. So once again, I've chosen my elements, I tap my check mark, and I'm done. So now that I've done everything I wanted to do and I've added everything I wanted to add to my canvas and I feel satisfied with it, I'm going to tap done. Once I tap done, in order to share my project with the world, I will save it to my library and add it to my camera roll. So once I've saved my finished product to my library, 
it basically goes to my photos and I tap on the photos and then I can tap on it and see my final project All right, and that is being creative with pic collage thank you for watching this tutorial be sure to subscribe like and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description